In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to multiply two binomials using a multiplication table, which is also sometimes referred to as the box method. So let's go ahead and get started with an example. Here we're multiplying two binomials, 3x plus 2 times 8x minus 4. So to use the multiplication table, we're going to start by just creating a 2 by 2 square box, and we're going to use these squares to separate each binomial, starting with separating 3x and the positive 2, then along the left side of the square, we're going to separate our 8x minus 4 binomial. In each square of the box, we're going to multiply the term that is directly above the box and directly to the left of the box. So we begin by multiplying 3x times 8x to get 24x squared. In this box, we're going to multiply 2 times 8x. Then we're going to multiply 3x times negative 4 to get negative 12x and lastly multiply 2 times negative 4 to get negative 8. Now we're going to take each of our terms out of the box and put them next to each other to create a polynomial. Separate each of your multiplied terms with addition symbols. Now you can begin to simplify. You want to combine any like terms. 16x and negative 12x are like terms because they each contain only 1x. And when you add them together, those simplify to a positive 4x. 24x squared and negative 8 don't have any like terms, so those remaining terms can be just brought down. So those remaining terms can be brought down. And again, you want to separate each of your terms with addition symbols. Now we can simplify a little bit further by knowing that plus a negative is the same thing as just negative 8. The rest of the terms can just be brought over and because we have no more like terms, this is our fully simplified answer. So the product of the two binomials 3x plus 2 times 8x minus 4 is the polynomial 24x squared plus 4x minus 8. And this is using the multiplication table or the box method. Let's do another example problem. Here we're multiplying the two binomials 5x squared minus 3 times negative 4x minus 7. And start by separating our first binomial, 5x squared and negative 3. Along the left side of the box, we're going to separate our second binomial, negative 4x and negative 7. Now we can start multiplying in each of the squares, starting with 5x squared times negative 4x to get negative 20x cubed. Next, we can multiply negative 4x times negative 3 to get 12x. Then multiply 5x squared times negative 7 to get negative 35x squared. And lastly, multiply negative 7 times negative 3, which gives a positive 21. Now we want to take each of our terms out of the box and write them next to each other to create a polynomial. Remember to separate each of your terms with an addition symbol. We have no like terms to simplify in this polynomial, but you do want to write your final polynomial in standard form, meaning the order of the exponents should go from largest to smallest. So the term with the exponent x squared should come before the term with the exponent x to the 1. So these two terms should be switched and negative 35x squared should come before the 12x to write this polynomial in standard form. Negative 20x cubed should remain in the front and 21 being a constant with no exponent should stay at the end of the polynomial. Remember to bring down your addition symbols between each term. Lastly, bring down your terms that are already simplified. Negative 20x cubed can just be brought down. But we want to simplify further this plus a negative 35x squared. Plus a negative can be rewritten as negative 35x squared. 12x is already simplified and can just be brought down as well as 21. We have no more like terms, so this is our final answer. And the product of the two binomials 5x squared minus 3 times negative 4x minus 7 is negative 20x cubed minus 35x squared plus 12x plus 21. And this is how you can solve that using the box method. Here are some extra practice problems related to multiplying two binomials and I do encourage you to pause the video and try solving these on your own using the box method. For step-by-step -step solutions and answers to solving these problems, please click here. For more math videos, please subscribe to our channel by clicking here. If you have any questions that were not answered in this video, please leave them in the comment section down below.
Thank you for watching.